Nation. Yo, getting right into this dread review, I had on the pages Amorphous as someone to do dread review on. Rock metal band here from Finland, heavy metal band, founded in 1990. I, at first look, I was like, wait a second, these guys don't even have dreadlocks. But then I realized, okay, once upon a time, this guy had some serious dreads in the lock game and in the heavy metal game specifically. Being freeforms, as I can tell here, most significantly from the roots, looking like fresh hair, no retwist, no interlocking happening. But check out the length on these. These are at least like 15 years tops hair growth. And a lot of them being quite thin as well. Um, obviously, the dude having his hair these days like this, a lot lighter on his neck than the weight of these dreads that's for sure uh, but it was crazy to see the length of these at first looking at his locks you can see the growth pattern in the locks itself where they're not scars but they're actually kind of just crinkles on where the freeforms have anchored themselves over time you don't see twists or you don't see interlocking connections that are tight these are definitely some freeform locks and himself looking to have a little bit of ethnicity to him and his skin tone, maybe making his hair a bit thicker than um, the normal Caucasian, allowing him to have great dreads. Not noticing the part directly down the middle though, I feel that this might come about from the length and the weight of his dreadlocks really pulling down the sides of his hair onto his part almost looking like he was rocking an undercut at this stage to kind of keep his hair less weighted on his head definitely down to his knees you don't really see many people with locks this long so you know at least 15 years of hair growth it's crazy to see that that dedication and commitment to his locks the ends being very wispy as well. We notice that there's no blunted tips at all. Making me think that there was no crocheting even involved that took place in the growth of these dreads. His locks here, looking at them. Tommy Jutsen. He's even got the beard game happening, almost in a dreadlock as well. Mad length happening on there. Again, noticing the texture of his locks. Almost like they're wavy a little bit, like they've been in a braid. A natural curl pattern that is happening there. Very thin as well. We don't see great thickness on these locks very much. Be quite sparse as well. Definitely probably rocking the undercut on a lot of these. Uh, when your locks get this long, they can be in the way for a lot of situations. Uh, when you're eating or taking part, partaking in activities. But it's all on your personal choice and how long you really want to maintain with your locks. I notice a lot of people with locks at this length will wear hats more often, wear them in tams more often to alleviate uh, the dangles from their face and their, and their lives essentially. But we can see the whole band definitely rocking longer hair, except for the one dude, Tommy, Tommy rocking the dreadlocks in all occasions. Definitely a great candidate for the dread review. So much length, so much stamina, stamina in these locks, I swear. So definitely shout outs to those that have requested this review today, and definitely come back later for the dreadlock live stream at 420 ending this one off with a crazy shot of his locks all up in the lens and this is quite the shot the head bang uh, noticing actually now you can see that some of these tips are blunted kind of looks like it was blunted naturally because they're more of like tentacles and flat at the end it's almost like the wisps that once were have blunted themselves and this is what essentially happens over the years is 
Um, the hair will will dread it itself, and the the ends will blunt on their self as well. And it's a crazy, crazy thing to think about because it takes years for it to happen, but it will happen. Most people want to do it in a day, opposed to have it wait for years. But patience is the key. I'm out of here. Peace out, one love. Check me out on Instagram at Not Nation. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Did